from Texas. Senator, glad to have you. I know this is a big issue for you. You're particularly concerned that Russia and China will be the only nations in the world with the capability to launch humans into space once the space shuttle program has ended. Now, this would be a temporary situation, but you say it's one that threatens our national security. How? It does threaten our national security that we cannot put our people in space on our own terms and with our own vehicles. We will have to buy seats on the Russian Soyuz. Uh, that is just not acceptable. And besides, but what specifically it costs are you million concerned million about in, in terms of cost. national security? Well, I think that we have to be able to continue our uh, use of the space station, for instance. It's just now operable. It's just now becoming useful, and it's a, it's a national laboratory. We're doing not only uh, health research that can't be done on Earth, it has to be in microgravity conditions, but also energy research. This is the future. It's our seed corn. Uh, if we can't put people up there, then the space station is going, going to to be not utilized. We can't extend it to 2020. And using just commercial, which is my biggest problem with this uh, proposal that President Obama is putting forward, mm -hmm. he's taking the money out of the NASA and putting it into commercialization, which we don't know if they're going to be able to produce. But Senator, so we're hearing that I think from what the White we need House. To do is let me ask you this, because we're hearing from the White House. They're talking about this independent commission, which found that there were some NASA of programs that are, quote, years behind schedule and massively over budget. Isn't it possible then that a pause to focus on the research for a few years could be a good thing, bigger picture for the space program? You, you can't pause the research on the space station if you can't put people up there. It's going to have a life of uh, possibly to 2020, more, 10 more years. You've got to utilize that to get the $100 billion investment back. To put money into the Russian Soyuz, and into commercial operators without building up our own capabilities. That's money that we're talking $3 billion going to the commercial operators with no backstop. With Where do no we cut NASA if we don't cut, if we to don't cut to NASA? We know we have to make cuts somewhere. Our country's facing tough times. If we don't cut I, NASA, where do we cut? You don't have to cut. You can stay within the budget that President Obama is proposing, but put it into our facilities, not into the commercial facilities that, that we don't know if it's even going to be successful. Senator Why K. Not Bailey has make the investment in ourselves. We so appreciate your time today. I know it's an important issue for you. Thank you, Senator. Europe's busy.